parable. Well, see, this looks red to me. Is that red? That is red. So I'm going to need different batteries. Because I thought I had it on, so it's it's. Good. <laughs> On the count of three, uh, let's say wake up blue. One, two, three. Wake up blue! Well, good evening, blue. Good evening, Pastor. How are ha you doing? Oh, oh, yeah, you were supposed to do that. Yeah. Sorry, I'm doing great. Okay. How about yourself? I'm doing great as well. Well, that's great, blue. So I have a question for you. Okay, what is it? Have you, blue, ever been tempted before? Tempted? Of course I've been tempted. Everyone's been tempted before, so of course I have been tempted. All right, Bloom, do you know what it means to be tempted? You know that, right? Um, sure, of course. We talk about it a lot, so I should know, right? <laughs> of course I know. You don't remember, do you? No, can you remind me? Sure, Blue. There are plenty of examples of temptation in the Bible. One would be the story of Adam and Eve. Oh, yeah, 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 the garden and snake and fruit and stuff, yes. All right, so do you remember how the snake tricked them into believing that if they ate the fruit from the tree, they would be like God. Yeah, sounds pretty like a pretty good deal to me. Whoa! What? It does, Pastor. I mean, come on. You would be all knowing and stuff. I would love to know what happens tomorrow and the day after that and all that stuff. I think we're getting off the main point here, Blue. We usually do. All right, so let's circle back. Do you remember that Adam and Eve were tempted by the snake to eat the fruit and gave into that temptation, right? Yeah, I remember that. All right. So if that's temptation, do you remember a time when you were tempted? Eh, I don't think so. I mean, I, I think I'm just too smart to get tempted. Huh, well, I think that we have just determined that that is a lie. What? Me? Blue, no one is exempt from temptation. There you go, using your big old pastor words. What is exempt? Oh, all it means is everyone gets tempted in one way or another. Yeah, well, that won't happen to me. See this face? See the focus? Ain't no temptation going to get me. <laughs> huh. huh, what? I think we should experiment with this. Um, I think we should not. Blue, you like chocolate, right? So we are going to do this, huh? Um, I, uh, uh, no. No, I don't like chocolate. Mm. Uh-huh. Sure, and you especially like chocolate when that chocolate is in cookies, right? Cookies? Um, what, what, why are you, what, no, no, why? Well, see, I just happen to have here uh -huh. these two uh -huh. chocolate chip cookies. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, that, that, huh, that is, um, that's cool, yeah. Well, I shouldn't have these cookies with me, you know because of the mean, horrible man, Graham. <laughs> so I think I will put these two chocolate chip cookies right here. Okay, sure, go right ahead. Put it there, I don't care. Yeah, I think these cookies are good right there. Blue, um, you okay there? Oh yeah, totally, see this face, focus. I actually, no, I can't see your face. You're looking away from me, from everyone, and from the cookie. Yes, yes, I am. Well, why don't you look at us? Because, oh, hey, did you know that wall over there is kind of blue? <laughs> blue. Blue. Yes, that's what I said, blue. No, blue. Can you please look over here? Um, I don't want to. Why? Because the cookie is there. And if I look at it, I might have to attack it with an impressive force, and that would be embarrassing. <laughs> well, blue. You do know that you are actually not allowed to eat this cookie. Um, excuse me, what? Well, this cookie is not yours. Someone gave it to me. Well, you're not going to eat it because, because you know, Graham will gym shame you. <laughs> yes, yes, he would. But I thought it would be safe right here until I put it somewhere else. I, I guess I should move it now. Wait, wait, I mean, now, 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 Pastor, why the rush? I mean... Maybe I should keep it somewhere safe for you, <laughs> like my belly. Blue, 
Do you want to eat my cookie right now? Yes! Um, no. Um, yes. It's okay, Blue. It was mean of me to tempt you with a cookie. Yes, it was. I think you should make it up to me by letting me eat it. Let's get back to the point. The point of giving me the cookie? Blue, did you feel tempted? By tempted, you mean, did I feel like I wanted to attack the cookie with passionate desire to eat it? Yes. Then yes, yes, I felt tempted. Is that wrong? No, feeling tempted is very common. It's what you do with that feeling that counts. Like what? Well, when you're tempted, it's important to see that you are being tempted. And if it is to do something that feels wrong, then it is very important to learn how to resist that temptation. Now that, my pastor, is hard. Very hard, Blue, but not impossible. Those times where you feel like the temptation is really strong? Like with chocolate chip cookies? Yes, like with cookies. Praying for help from the Holy Spirit can help you resist your temptation and be strong in the face of your weaknesses. Cookies is a weakness? You can look at me and ask that question. No, yes, <laughs> they make you behave sinfully. If they make you behave sinfully, yes. Oh, dear. Well... I do have unchristian thoughts about stealing the cookies from you. Exactly. So be aware of your weaknesses. Ask for help from the Holy Spirit to resist giving in and forgiveness should the temptation start to get the best of you. I think I can handle that. But, Pastor? Yes, Blue? Can you get the cookies off this fence? It's driving me crazy. Sure. I'll take the cookies. Oh, thank you. All right, Blue. Let's pray. Say, Dear God. Dear God. Help me. Help me. Resist temptation. Resist temptation. By your spirit. By your spirit. Amen. Amen. Go on back. Go on back. Go on back. You can't stay here, so go back. Amen.